my immediate reaction to that is that our region is very fragile. Those who were serving when Nigeria entered Ekumog, whether in Liberia or Sierra Leone, will not advise another military invasion anywhere because we finished our money. We finished our children. And the people we went to serve have no gratitude. So for anybody to also be showing big posture now, it's not advisable. It's not advisable. More so, the people we are going to tackle, they are also, in a way, part of Nigeria. They are part of Nigeria. The battle will be very, very difficult. Very, very difficult. So, if, the, the, if you compare our financial situation, we are owing heavily to China and other uh, uh, creditors. On top of that, you go and invite war. War is a very costly madness. War is social madness. You don't, you don't jump into war. The beginning, even if you know the beginning, you don't know the continuation, you don't know the end. So I, at my candid opinion, it should not go to war with Niger. We have enough problems. If he is to solve, to help Nigerians, he should pay attention to solving their problems. Then to talk about um, the cabinet. Uh, I have nothing to say about his cabinet because I'm not a politician. This government itself is still struggling for credibility. So let alone the cabinet. Yeah, the, the real government is yet not a, is a still praying to God. So when it has become a government, then we can talk about the cabinet. Because you cannot be talking about the temple, about the altar, when the temple itself is not standing. That's how it is. So we wait and pray that God will take a decision. If God decides that this is the government, then we will not talk about the individuals who have been selected to serve. Because the government is number one. The cabinet is number two. May God help Nigeria.